Well, good day, folks. I'm back again for a second time lapse video of these red headed mouse spiders. If you didn't see yesterday's video, uh, probably a good idea to go and have a look because it explains uh, what this one will be about. Um, but in a nutshell, yesterday I, I set up a time lapse video to see if I could figure out what might be going on with some red headed male mouse spiders which are investigating this. A female burrow that rained a few days ago um, which sets these guys in, in action and um, it's been really interesting to watch them multiple males coming to this female uh, burrow um, and in, in this video I'll just start it um, the first part of the video I started at 8 o'clock in the morning and the, the female at burrow lid you can see here is closed um, during the day when the males are there, it's sort of propped open. So for the first hour, it remained closed. And I, I was asking the question yesterday as to whether or not the males were staying in the burrow overnight because they seem to disappear and then the burrow is closed. So uh, I wasn't too sure whether they were staying in the burrow overnight or what was happening. But this video has shown me that, in fact, they don't stay in the burrow overnight. What's actually happening is that I think the males are sort of disappearing nearby into the vegetation and the leaf litter and hiding away and then coming back to the burrow in the morning. Uh, so I started at 8 o'clock, there's no activity. The first male turns up here at about 9 o'clock. So this video I took a shot every 15 seconds uh, for four hours. So I went from 8 a.m. in the morning until midday. It was quite cold this morning, possibly about five degrees, four or five degrees Celsius this morning. Um, reasonably sunny sort of day. Um, bit of cloud. So here the first one's turned up and I'll, this is roughly about probably 10 past nine in the morning. And you can see that the lid's closed this male opens it. It looks like he, he props it open. You see, he like holds it open with his back legs. You can see there he's got his back tarsus and metatarsus is actually in contact with the lid, holding it up. As to how it manages to stay open after that, I'm not really sure. I haven't tried lifting it that high myself. If you don't lift it that high and let it go, it falls back down. So it could just be that it mechanically just stays up a bit if it gets lifted to a certain point. And then another one turns up. You can see the lid didn't go all the way down. It's sort of... There's not much aggression between them. A little bit, but it's pretty minimal really. They just come up to each other and... and uh, they're aware of each other, but there's no fighting, no biting or anything like that. This male going in and out of the burrow here, he seems to be the dominant one. Now, the question is, are these the same spiders that were here yesterday? Well, one of the spiders yesterday only had seven legs. I remember that. And, and there, I can't see any seven-legged spiders here today. Um, and I saw four at one stage. There's a fourth one out of the picture up to the right down there a little bit, probably it's probably about a foot or so away, um, just out of the picture. And he just appeared, I think. But as with yesterday, yesterday there was a dominant one. And uh, it almost appears as though there's a fairly dominant one happening here today as well. There's a bit of a standoff there. So that, so that one backed off, the one in the background didn't want to challenge this one that's in the burrow now, this one seems to be the dominant one. This is going down the burrow, as to whether there's any mating going on, I have absolutely no idea. So anyway, at least I have been able to draw well, on some conclusions, and that is that the burrow attracts multiple males. We can see that. Um, the males don't remain overnight in the burrow. They 
they seem to just sit nearby like I've had two now underneath my camera pillow that I'm sitting the camera on to make these these films when I lift the lift it up after the after the filming I'll both times one of them has been under it making a little recess and webbing it up so it seems as though they just sort of sit nearby maybe if they're not having much success they'll wander off and take cover and then try again the next day so it could be that you know just multiple males attracted to the one burrow and good luck whoever the dominant one is is going to be successful the dominant one the, the one that's most persistent um, is going to be the one that possibly will be successful but then again there's female aspect too I mean the female may not want to mate with the dominant one the dominant one may not be to her liking and but ultimately you would think that she would have to mate with one of them eventually and she could mate with multiple males I mean that's another possibility it could be some sort of multiple um, mating going on so she could have sperm coming in from a number of different males and and in her offspring there may be genetics from uh, a different number of males what I might look at doing next is trying to mark them and see whether or not the same spiders turn up the next day uh, I won't be here unfortunately for another couple of days but it uh, be interesting to see how long this activity continues for Oh, that was another video, so another time lapse. I hope you found it interesting, and um, yeah, we'll see you next time.